Obstructive sleep apnea you hear about um, in adults, and um, and sometimes it's miss it's just missed completely in children. Uh, children really shouldn't snore, and if a child is snoring, um, there's something going on there. So as we get older, it may be almost normal to snore, um, but for children, they shouldn't be snoring. So children um, that are snoring usually have something going on in their throat. Um, they often have big tonsils and big adenoids. Um, the tonsils and adenoids are normal structures that should be there. They're part of our immune system. And through ages three, four, and five, the tonsils and the adenoids enlarge. And they can get really big, um, bigger than the child can tolerate. And so if you're a little kid and you have a little back of the nose and a little back of the throat, so your nasopharynx and your oropharynx are small, and you grow a big tonsil and an adenoid back there, you can start to snore, mouth breathe, um, and get obstructive sleep apnea. So uh, so the the you know, cute little snoring child. You know, people say, oh, so he's so cute, he's snoring. Um, you know, it isn't, it isn't cute. They shouldn't be snoring. Um, and they may have enlarged tonsils and adenoids blocking their nasopharynx or their nasal airway. Um, and then uh, big tonsils blocking their oropharynx or their oral pharyngeal airway. And so when they're awake, they aren't doing anything. Maybe they're breathing with their mouth open. If they're really severe, you can be at a park watching kids playing and pick out the kid who probably has obstructive sleep apnea. And they're going to be around three um, or four years old, and they'll be kind of, you know, running around with their mouth open. Um, and, you know, playing just fine because they think they're just fine. Um, and then when they go to fall asleep, they aren't able to maintain their airway open anymore. And they get relaxed, they fall into a deep sleep, they get muscle relaxation, and then those oral pharyngeal muscles that keep that airway open, despite the, the fact that there's big tonsils in it, it relaxes, um, and then they block their airway. And they, and they may not even really snore that loud. There are children who will just kind of be breathing loudly. Um, uh, they like to refer to it as like a Darth Vader breathing. So the kids, sometimes their siblings will call them Darth Vader. I had a little girl in my practice that her siblings called her, her name was Ellie, and they called her Ellie Vader. Um, and um, and she, Ellie would fall asleep and you could hear her. You know, if she's in the car seat, you can hear her in the car. If she's in her room, you can hear her in the hallway. And if you went in and watched her, you would hear her actually pause. So she would do a and then she'd flip her body, turn, and everyone said she's a crazy sleeper. Um, and, and those are some of the things that we just don't think about. We, you know, the kid's fine, they didn't get up, um, and, you know, maybe they're a little grouchy in the morning, but um, it's very uh, common to not actually have a parent notice it. You know, that's just my cranky kid, and really they just don't sleep.